The Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ has compelled me to speak regarding what has happened. What is going on? Why is the, is, is, uh, the church the tail? What's going on? And in Bible scripture, we find exactly uh, what has happened. And this is extremely important. Extremely important. The Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ spoke to me in prayer once again. He says, Christianity has fallen because the church has not been completely faithful in the spiritual covenant of Jesus Christ. Not trusting and ministering. Not producing the fruits that conquer Lucifer, Satan, the devil. And in Thessalonians, the Holy Spirit showed me that when the church succeeds, the elect succeeds also. This is extremely important to understand. In Hebrews, Paul says, in Hebrews 10.34, that you had compassion for my bonds. That, that, so when the church began, and Paul was feeding them all this, this truth, all this amazing truth, they they were they began they began eating those fruits and they were really supporting Paul here in in um, Hebrews uh, 34 in, ver, in uh, chapter 11 uh, 10 34 I want to read this for you had compassion on my bonds on the prisoners here in the RSV on the prisoners the prisoners is the prisoners in Jesus Christ Jesus Christ uh, uh, had Paul in chains. He was a bond servant. So he writes here also in the King James Version, says, For you had compassions on my bonds, on the prisoners, and you joyfully accepted the plundering of your property since you knew that you, you yourselves had a better possession and an abiding one. So what happened was the church was looking into eternity. The church was, was seeking to um, uh, live for Christ understanding and knowing uh, with the Holy Spirit. But what happened is Lucifer, Satan, the devil, he came in and he conquered them. That's what he did. Slowly, a little bit at a time. And then uh, Simon the Sorcerer came in and the like, and they took over the congregation. Uh, they saw the, the, all the, 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 um, uh, the, the, the potential for plundering because they would bring all, everything in. They would give and they would build each other up. They would go. Uh, they would supply each other, build each other up, and then go out. They would su support the community, uh, and then they would uh, send people out. God would separate and send people out uh, to minister, and then they would come back for uh, and and they would share exactly what they're doing, what they were doing, and their experiences that they had. They would edify each other, lift each other up, and and that was the system of the way that was supposed to be doing that was doing and that's what the church is supposed to be doing they were supposed to be having the advancement of the kingdom of god first and foremost in their minds and everything that they did now in in galatians says here it, it is where uh the church fell in galatians i think that's in galatians 4 says or galatians 3 says that they fell because they first began in the Holy Spirit, but what they did, who has bewitched you, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified? You see, so eyes you've seen, you have the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified, let me ask you only this. Did you receive the, the Spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? Are you so foolish, having begun with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? So that's what's happened. They began with the Spirit. They're ending with the flesh because uh, the, the devil uh, came in and um, just started twisting everything around and and um, bringing the um, uh, the reality the, 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 the church the gathering into a, a self serving congregation 
and this that's how the church has been taken down and it's been witchcraft it's a false spirit that has gone into this into the church and 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 we must turn that that around so um in hebrews and what's happened is that in hebrews 10 Paul said, if I, you had compassion on my bonds. And then in Galatians also, Paul says, you know, you would have plucked out your eyes for me when I first gave you this information, when I first gave you the revelations that Jesus Christ gave him, gave me, he says. Now have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth. So Paul, because Satan the devil was slowly taking over the church, Paul continued strong in his office, then there was a separation. The reprovals of Paul were not accepted anymore. The church drifted away from the instructions of Paul, and because the church became tiny gods, and as they are now at the ends of that, at the ends of the earth, they are not accepting any type of reproval. Any type of reproval is an attack, is viewed as, as hatred, as intolerance. In 1 Thessalonians 3.8, whereas we need the discipline, we need the discipline from the elect. So the, the elect bring that information to the church, and the church, what the church does, supports. The church holds, watches over all the stuff. Okay? That's what happened when King David went, I think that was what happened in Ziklag when, when, when they were plundered, when they left Ziklag to go with the kings. They were sent back because they, they didn't allow them to fight with them. When they gave, got back to Ziklag, they found that their, even their wives were taken. Everything was plundered. So they went uh, to regain, uh, went to get their wives back, and they, they went to regain uh, and, 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 and uh, all the plunder if possible. So what happened is that when they got to a certain place, I think this is where, where, where this happened. Uh, they, the, uh, a certain percentage of the military of the soldier, the fighters with David, or the, the group that was with David, they stayed back to hold the stuff, to take care of the stuff. And then the rest of them went to regain, uh, to overtake those uh, that, that, uh, uh, that attacked them. So what David did after God gave him the, the victory when they came back, the man said, well, we're not going to share the plunder with these guys, with, with, the re with them that stayed behind. But they, King David said, no, not so. He said, they, they took care of the stuff, right? So they, they also partake in the plunder, you see? So that's the system working together. When the, the, the saints, the, those that are called out, they need to, the backing of the church. The church has to back up the ministers. Those that are out in the streets, those who are called out. Now, in 1 Thessalonians 3, and the church needs to perceive, this is the thing, this is the thing. The church must say, well, we're already doing that. Yeah, you're, you're supplying, okay, uh, these, these, um, uh, the, the, these mega uh, empires, that are actually, but, but, but they're not serving Christ. They're not serving the kingdom of God, you see. We have to have discernment where we serve. And we have to have the resolve, the uprightness, the straightness, and the resolve of Christ to, 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 to do that under any circumstances. Now, in, in first, and, and, and that's when Jesus, that's when the Holy Spirit comes in. So we, we always have to leave room for the Spirit to work. That way our faith is increased. We're all together, and the eyes are open, and, and the church is flourishing, and the country is also being blessed. Now, in 1 Thessalonians 3, 7, 8, this is, the, this is the verse here that says that exactly. It's an amazing verse. It says here, this is 2 Thessalonians. In 1 Thessalonians 3, 7 to 8 says, For this reason, brethren, in all our distress and affliction, we have been comforted about you 
through your faith, you see, for now we live if you stand fast in the Lord. That's where we must be. As, as a unit working together. The church is to be strong, straightened, tempered in the Holy Spirit. In 1 Corinthians 5, verse 12, Verse, beginning in verse 11, but rather I wrote to you not to associate with anyone, and this is the letter to the Corinthians, the instructions sent to the Corinthians, but rather I wrote to you not to associate with anyone who bears the name of brother if he is guilty of immorality or greed or is an idolater, reviler, drunkard, or robber, not even to eat with such a one. For what have we to do with judging outsiders? Is it not those inside the church whom you are to judge? God judges those outside, drive out the wicked person from among you. So what this verse is saying, once again, what this verse is saying is that if anyone, the congregation is to be holy and set apart. If anyone comes into the congregation, let's say Simon the Sorcerer, anyone comes into the the congregation, they are to be reproved. In Galatians says, Get rid of the son of the slave woman, for by no means will the son of the slave woman inherit along with the son of the free woman. And God does this spiritually. God does this spiritually. So what the church is doing, they are accepting the robber, they are accepting the drunkard, they are accepting the idolater, and they're casting out uh, the elect. They're casting out the, um, uh, in Timothy says anyone who wants to live a godly life will be persecuted in this in this age and now we arrive at the end of the age so this is where the church is that's where the church is and I, I that that is, is obvious and that is widespread uh, throughout the entire country all all the churches have that they all have that uh, all in various degrees the church is not completely conquered the Holy Spirit that is there, whatever is there, okay, and the church is an individual person, not a building, is not conquered, not completely conquered, all in different various degrees. And that is absolutely proven, absolutely proven. And what the information that has been that has been being revealed now. Uh, through different ministries also, absolutely proves, absolutely proves everything okay, written in this Holy Bible that is being revealed. Everything is absolutely proven 100%. There is absolutely no doubts. And the more we are in the Holy Spirit with Jesus Christ, the more we are able to perceive these things, the more we are able to be edified, the more we are able to rise up God will rise, raise us up. God says those who exalt themselves will be humbled. Those who humble themselves will be exalted. God will exalt us. Wait for the Lord, says the Bible, and He will lift you up in humility, in a broken spirit, and a contrite heart. And Ezekiel says that pride has arisen, arrogance has blossomed, the end has come upon the four corners of the earth. This pride and arrogance is what is must go. Uh, and, and we must work at conquering pride and arrogance that is that is of the world through the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. We have to conquer that. That is really the uh, uh, a major um, device, divisive, um, dis, um, deceitful spirit that, that, that uh, has crept in to the churches and has blinded their eyes, blinded the eyes, and is, is, is causing uh, the uh, forces of unbelief to take over. Uh, is causing this great, great falling away that we're seeing right now. So these are the most important instructions is to follow the laws of God. Is to follow the laws of God. Fast. Fast away. Stay, stay at home. Stay in your room. Jesus says, lock your door. 
close your door, go in your room, pray to your Heavenly Father, and there He will hear you. We have to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. We must hear His voice. We must have an experience with Jesus. We must continue to grow in the Holy Spirit. We must walk with the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Spirit. That way we are safe when we end up in the fourth dimension after, when we die, after death. That's where our minds must be focused on. We must not allow the uh, deceitful spirits that are in the world to lead us and guide us. We must not allow that. We must seek the instructions of God, of the, of the Holy Spirit Himself. So I hope you're edified. God bless you. Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. Amen and amen.